You see that credit side total is 19,200. Then we take the same total on the other side and we'll, when we subtract all these amounts, we get 5,750 as our gross profit. So we will write two gross profit carried down, two gross profit carried down. This would appear on the credit side of our p and &L. So the next portion of this format we will be taking as p and &L account. I am taking the gross profit to the opposite side of p and &L account and I am writing by gross profit brought down which amounts to 5750. There is a slight printing error in the textbook. So this is to be taken as correct gross profit. Now let us see the leftover items which you have not underlined. The leftover items which you have not underlined are indirect expenses and incomes. So we will enter them in our p and account. From top, now we have after purchases the rent as our first indirect expense on the debit side. I am going to write rent rupees 650. Rent rupees 650 the first indirect expense, then we have traveling expenses, two traveling expenses, two traveling expenses, we have amount 400. Now next is given as interest received, so interest received is an indirect income, so we take it on the credit side because it is income, interest received interest received the amount of rupees 800. Now next item being your salaries again indirect expense so on the debit side two salaries the amount being 1200. So salaries on the debit side the amount being 1200. Now next item is you have your discount allowed again it's a loss so on the debit side we take so discount allowed so discount allowed rupees discount allowed the amount or rupees 525 now next item is trade expenses so do not mistake the word trade means it should come in trading account trade expenses will be coming in your p and l account the amount being 700, the amount being 700.